Yeah, here's my 1986 Honda Helix, H-E-L-I-X, Honda Helix scooter. I've had this for a few years. The fellow that had it before me was lived down at the bottom of the hill here, and he had it since it was, he was the second owner. He got it in 1986. It was about six months old when he got it. So then I pulled it out today and decided I better clean it up a bit. Oh, there's some dripping there. But the uh, windshield was all, like you couldn't even see through the windshield, it was so discolored. And then I just cleaned up some of the plastic stuff a bit. Here, I'll show you how. Just have a look around. Here's the ocean, or portions of the salt water. Yeah, here you go. This is uh, my 1986 Honda Helix. I've been cleaning it up, getting it ready to go. Had a broken tail light. Those things are hard to find, so I just built one here out of plexiglass. Then while I was at it, I decided, well, I'll clean it up a bit. Now, this morning before I started, it was all that, all the plastic looked real gray, like that stuff right there. That's looking much better now. And the windshield was so corroded or whatever, it's an acrylic windshield or plexi or whatever they call that stuff, but you couldn't see through it. How do you fix that? I'll see if I can find an old picture, because I... Yeah, so here's an old picture of uh, the Honda. Take a look at the windshield there. It's all gray and brown and ugly. You know, I wasn't thinking that it was going to be effective, but it sure was. So here's what I did. I went with the old... For cleaning up the plastic. That's 2,000 grit. Wet sand it. And it doesn't take long, it only just have to go 1,000 grit, 2,000 grit, 1,000 grit, 1,500 grit, and then 2,000 grit, and just wet sand it, and that takes all that weathered stuff off the outside. Now I'll do a little bit right here and show you, because i got some left over to do. So here's 1,000 grit right here. Don't be scared of the water. And it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long to get it all, all that stuff off of there. Oops. Got it. So there's half of it done, just like that. And then, next thing is 1500 grit. Right here, 1500. And just go over it again. Oh. Quit pointing the camera at the floor, Lauren. Yeah. A little bit more like that, and then get into the little cracks and stuff. And that's that part done. Then the next one up is 2,000. And that's how quick it is. It doesn't take long at all. Like, it's not, it's not a real tedious affair. But let your... Uh, <coughs> I've had this sandpaper soaking in a bucket here for days because I used it on something else, and then... When you use it on this, then that feels nice and smooth now. When it feels nice and smooth, it's done. And then, you wipe that off with a nice smooth cloth. Where am I? Where's my nice smooth cloth? Over here. Nice terry cloth. Wipe it all off. Now, when that dries, it'll be a while drying, but when that dries, this stuff on the top here, it's going to look fairly black, and the stuff down below is going to look fairly gray, because I didn't touch it. I'll wait a while and show you, if it ever dries. And then, so the same thing worked with this. And I'm quite pleased with this, because you can see right through there. But I'll find an old picture, and I'll put, a part of this, I'll put it in as part of this video, and you'll see the difference. So anyhow, the uh, method was, I sanded this. Inside and outside, 1,000 grit, 1,500 grit, and 2,000 grit. Then I took uh, some glass cleaner to it, and that didn't touch it. So then I looked online, and the guy said, if it's scratched, you go and uh, you got to buff it. you got to work it, work it, sand it, work it, and buff it. So I had the sanding all done, and it felt smooth. So I went and I got this, uh, which I have for polishing the car. I've got this paint restoration compound which is that stuff there 
and I've got this polishing compound, and I've got what they call a dual action, which is a, a you know, a variable speed buffering thing. So you just put it on the buffer, put it on there, and smear it across the window, and and work it. And boy, oh boy, you can see it happening. You can just see all the yellow coming out of it. You'll wonder where the yellow went. So, and it came out, I'm very pleased with that. I might do a little bit more buffing. It's, might have to take the windshield off and buff it on the inside there, but for this summer, I'm going to be happy with that because I can see through the damn thing. Yeah, so there you go. There's the uh, the difference. It could use some more. I'm going to do some more. I can do more sanding on here, and that'll come out nicer. And I haven't touched that stuff down there yet, so you can really see the difference. Just a little bit of sanding will make it on it. So I'll clean it up, and I might even take it off the bike and put it on the bench and clean it up. Yeah, so there's the difference it makes. Big difference. That's what it that's what it looked like to start with, because this is the other side, which is exactly the same. And that's what it looks like now. Now what I did, I <coughs> sanded it 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. Then I uh, put some of this mother's back to black on it. And then I wiped it all off and then took the heat gun to it so it would be make sure it was dry. And it looks pretty awful good. I could do more work on it, but I think that one, that'll be fine for, for this machine. I'm not a, not a show quality, it's just want to look good. We'll see how it lasts for the summer. Yeah, so there's, <coughs> excuse me, there's side number two done. Now this one here has sustained some damage along the way. You hit the ground there, got scraped off there, and it's, you can see where there's, you can't take that little bit of discoloration out of it because it's bent the plastic. But, for the most part, it looks pretty awful good. Good enough for me, anyhow. Yeah, so the last time I had this inspected was uh, 2020 in May. So, what was it, June now. So, I'm a year late. I didn't get inspected last year because I didn't drive it much. And the taillight lens was broken, so I didn't take it in. So, I've fixed the taillight lens now, and I've also checked everything. So, all the brakes work. They work fine. There's... High beam, high beam, low beam, there's a horn here, yeah, horn works, blinker lights work, yep, blinker lights work, uh, driving light or tail light, whatever you call it, And blinker lights on this side. Isn't that a loud clink, clink, clink? I guess that's so you can hear it when you're driving down the road with a helmet on. That works there. And then the brake lights work. I'll... Oh, how do you turn that off? I'm supposed to just press it in to turn it off. Yeah, then the brake light works. So you press on... I'll turn off the light and you can see it reflected on the back door here. There. So, brake light works on the, there's on the foot pedal, and there's on the hand pedal, or the, the hand brake, front brake, front brake, rear brake. So, I'd say that's about all they need to inspect, and the tires are, the tires are good, <clears throat> they don't have hardly any miles on them, back tires just like new a couple of years ago and uh, I think I've driven it all of 600 kilometers maybe don't know but we'll uh, take it in and get it inspected for this year and drive it a bit over the summer I hope